Sixth graders, it's good to see you. I hope that you're having fun studying those prepositions. I wanted to talk to you really fast about some common preposition errors. This should be the second page on your lesson for today. Now, once you've memorized your prepositions, they're pretty easy to spot. Um, it just takes some memorization, and maybe you could even just go back and look over that list once every night before you go to sleep. So that way you can just start to kind of memorize them if you haven't already. But it's easy to misuse these prepositions sometimes. And if you look at page 252, we'll go over some of those common errors in uh, using those prepositions. So let's go ahead and read the blue box. Writers understand the importance of knowing the right word to use. The following list gives you valuable information that will help you know and use the right words. And I think we're all kind of guilty of using these prepositions this way. First, there's beside and besides. Beside means by the side of. Besides means in addition to. So two different meanings there. The spider sat down beside her. He has other shoes besides those he is wearing. You see, that can be kind of tricky. One's a preposition, one's not. Between and among. Use between in referring to two people or things. Use among in referring to more than two. There is nothing between my soul and the Savior. The money was divided among the four relatives. So just be careful when using those two, uh, those different words. Accept and accept, and those two words sound exactly the same. Accept as a preposition means excluding. Accept is a verb and means to receive or to agree to. Every player scored except a. Will you accept Ethan's apology? We have in and into. Use in for location within. Use into for motion from outside to inside. Please remain in your seat until the plane lands. Do not go into the room until someone calls for you. And this, this next uh, pair of words, I think it's the one that we all misuse the most. Of and have. Have you ever heard someone said, I should have gone with you, or something like that? You know, we have the southern dialect around here, and I can get a little tricky sometimes. Well, that's not correct. Listen, listen to this. Of is a preposition and should not be used for the helping verb have. Incorrect. You should have finished by this time. You should have finished. Nope, that's not correct. Correct. You should have finished by this time. So do you see the difference of is being used as a preposition and have is being used as a verb, which is the correct way to use it. And finally, we have to and and. Do not use the conjunction and after the words try and sure. Use the word to instead, and it'll make more sense when you read through the examples. Incorrect. Try and come to church with me this Sunday. That's not correct. Try to come to church with me this Sunday. That sounds a little bit better, right? Incorrect. Be sure and turn off the light. Correct. Be sure to turn off the light. And see, there's just a couple of those little differences in the way that we're supposed to use prepositions and in the way that we use them incorrectly sometimes. So go ahead and read that page with me. That's page 252 if you want to go review it. Um, that's going to come in handy when you start your lesson tomorrow. Bye, sixth grade.